Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? This is your friend Augustine Versace here for O'Neillmedia.com. And, ah, oh, that was crazy. But yeah, today I want to talk about the A7C. What are my ideas, or should I say my thoughts, of the A7C? Well, I actually believe Sony is on to something here. Big thoughts after the intro. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this way, tell him run it up. All right, so the A7C is on its way, baby. It is on its way. And it is a full frame sensor that we have on the A7C with a body that is somewhat similar to the APS-C bodies, which means smaller body, bigger sensor. First things first, smaller body. Sony made things smaller with going with mirrorless. That just is what it is. Sony, you killed the DSLR. For you to kill off the DSLR, that's amazing. But if you could pioneer again, what is that, Super 35 sensor? If you could make that be feasible for a smaller body, you're on to something here. Makes it more portable. My personal opinion, when I look at the A7C, I look at that as a full frame vlogging camera now i know what you're thinking a lot of people are saying well the a7s mark iii would be good for vlogging you are right but it's kind of expensive man a little bit on the expensive side not super expensive because you start thinking about reds and well but that is a lot of money to spend on a camera that you would be using for vlogging a7c not so much the A6600 would be like the closest thing APS-C, right? It's almost the same, give or take a few hundred dollars. I mean, you might as well go full frame if you're gonna look into getting the A6600. I would go with the A7C just for the shallower depth of field. Shallower, shallower, more shallow depth of field. And I think it would be really beneficial for some people, especially like me, I would wanna keep my full frame. I really don't want to have APS-C. And the A7C is actually like, in my opinion, the perfect secondary camera for me. I already used the A7 Mark III. I would love to upgrade to the A7S Mark III. But if I had to choose between the A7 III and the a7c i might just go with the a7c because it has a smaller form factor if it's going to be a secondary camera as well as a running a gun camera for me and it has the the tilty outy screen so if it's going to be a secondary camera for me as well as a running gun camera i would like to have that smaller form factor period i think it would end up being a third camera for me just because I don't think I want to get rid of my A7 III. I don't. It's not a vlogging camera. I don't do much vlogging. I probably would if I had like the tilty outy screen. I really think I would. And there's a lot of you out there that would too. So yeah, A7C is more of a vlogging full frame camera, in my opinion. The A7S Mark III is a beast. And it can very well be used to vlog with. But who wants to spend that amount of money? And the A7 III, jack of all trades, master of none. Not very good for vlogging. You can, especially if you have an ultra wide lens, uh, somewhere in between like 16 and 20 millimeters. But if you wanna be able to see yourself, you're gonna be looking at APS-C, over A7C. What does the C stand for? Can't live without. And as a matter of a fact, Sony, it's your boy. Come on, man. Y'all sitting everybody else's camera but me. I need a camera. 
hey hey guys tell sony we need a camera so i can review this all right so yeah that being said like subscribe ring the bell notifications and i'll see you guys on the next video all right love peace